Hi, this is Jenny. I have a uh, start to finish video featuring a lot of the uh, recent February scrapbook circle kit and a lot of other little bits and pieces I've picked up recently. I'm just going to go through them here quickly. I cannot wait to use that Glitz uh, roller stamp. I did not use it in this layout. These are some of the scrapbook circle exclusive flare badges. I, unfortunately I didn't use those either but um, I did use um, a lot of the papers from it. I That's a beautiful uh, Glitz Polaroid stamp, some neat little black um, shimmery doilies, some basic gold um, stickers from Office Depot, some My Mind's Eye 6x6 pads, pieces of the um, kit that are exclusive to the Scrapbook Circle. They've started doing some glit stickers, some uh, My Mind's Eye gold um, Dear Lizzie stickers and some uh, I've got a pile of these uh, paint strips that I had planned to use for Valentine's. These are pieces of the collectible collection from My Mind's Eye that are new that are wonderful. Um, I love the colors. I love the heavyweight feel of the paper. It's 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 such a tactile um, gift to me. It, it feels wonderful. It's it's pretty to hold. It's pretty to look at and it just um, it, it feels permanent if, if that makes any sense. These are pieces from the Glitz collection that um, are wonderful too and, and they can cut apart. So I'm going to use a piece of that. These are the artisan papers from Pink Paisley. I'm going to um, mist to match and these are just little bits and pieces I'm trying to um, make myself use in every layout I do. Those were pieces from a scrapbook circle collection from a while ago and these are pieces of the Echo Park um, uh, Photo Freedom maybe collection. These are the photographs I'm going to scrap which were from a um, It's My Goddaughter and niece. It's from a birthday party that we had for my mother-in-law and all of our children now are at a wonderful age where they can sit at their own little table and have their own good time and it's wonderful for the parents. It's wonderful for the kids and so I just wanted to scrapbook that because um, she looked really happy and they were cute little photographs. So I've got some uh, of the new Heidi Swamp Color Shine Mists and some glitter. Not quite sure what I'm going to use yet. Some gesso. I did think I would take a cue from the um, Celine Navarro tutorial that she did at Two Peas that was wonderful where um, and I had been planning on doing something like this but it was nice to have somebody motivate me in that way where she showed um, using a, a background that was a little bit busier and she used some gesso to tone it down a bit and uh, make it more of a usable background. So instead of having a white background and the pattern in the middle, I decided to use the pattern as the entire piece and then use the gesso to to white out sort of the middle piece that would be the mat for the rest of the layout, if that makes any sense. And um, that way I could use the paper that I wanted to use but still have it sort of on the outside and give a tone and color to the rest of the, the papers that I wanted to use. So I planned on doing that and then I picked out one of these artisan papers that I had planned to mist um, in the background. And I decided on one that I was going to, um, I mean I, I kind of knew what I wanted to do but I wasn't exactly sure which pattern I wanted to use. I love the chevron pattern. I don't want to overdo it which I know I tend to do or so my husband tells me but um, I, um, I I wanted to do this and then do it in that turquoise color and have it as, as sort of the mat for the rest of the photographs underneath the white sort of gesso. So my idea was to 
spray it and mist it in a sort of ombre kind of pattern but that didn't quite work out and it didn't quite work out not necessarily because I don't think I necessarily did it right not that I really know what I'm doing however I think a lot of this is it, it what's great about this paper is that it's sort of foolproof and that you kind of can't go wrong except that I was trying to make it uh, darker at the bottom and it didn't quite work out so I decided to just leave it alone let it sit and I kind of kept missing it at the bottom to try to make it darker um, I think I worked a little bit of that out but I'm not completely convinced so this is me trying to um, gesso the background and I did um, use a, a credit card just the same way that Selena Navarro did um, mostly because I've, I've done that process before and it is um, an easy way to do it and and relatively clean so I'm going to cut the photos down and use them as a um, try to figure out the way I want to mat them on the photo on the uh, background I'm sorry her name starts with an E so the ampersand is perfect because it's a giant E so um, I'm gonna use that I found these really neat doilies in the cake sort of decorating section at Michaels and they've got a little teeny bit of glittery kind of sparkle to them and it's really neat because all the doilies I've had have either been white or I've misted them which is wonderful and I love the texture I love the um, just just the shape it brings to any sort of a background or anything I use it on but the black was such a different take on it that it really helped and it, and it really brought in the thickers I ended up using so anyway I'm trying to get that um, ombre thing to work which uh, you know I, I might have forced it a bit but I did um, cut out pieces of this glitz paper at least the journaling card bit and I'm going to use that and uh, I'm going to put the rest of it in fast forward so that you can see the rest of it and I will come back at the end to talk a little bit more.
Okay, so I'm close to the end here. I um, had done some sewing with actually some really funky gold thread I found at Michael's. And um, it, it, it was kind of wiry, but it did work out fine in my sewing machine. There wasn't really a problem, so I'm just tying it off here on the back. And I really hate to leave the threads undone or not tied off because I just, um, I hate loose ends, I suppose, <laughs> in a literal way. And this just um, makes me feel better, makes me feel like it might actually, you know, not just fall apart if you ever took it out of the, the sleeve. So uh, I'm pretty adamant about tying it off or securing them in some way. So I'm just doing that. And then I, um, I'm doing the last couple little things. I had this chipboard camera that I had been dying to use. I've got these um, um, paper punches that are really heavy, sort of weighting down the, the bow in the paper that the gesso created. It's fallen out. It's it it's not a big deal. It just does bow up a little bit while it's drying. So um, just that's just a little something to think about but it's not that bad it does fall out much more so than it would be if it was a piece of watercolor paper or something so I've just got a couple little tags I'm attaching uh, these cute little clothespins that are very similar to the um, new lines that are coming out but they were actually from Michaels and I was very happy to have found them so I'm just attaching those, a couple little of the pink paisley uh, hearts, I'm putting a date stamp at the bottom and trying to find if there's anything else. I had added some journaling at the end um, there and that is pretty much it. So thank you so much for watching and we'll see you soon. Bye.